I was hoping you would say that. Ginny Weasley, co-commentator for this match. Back for another exhilarating game of Quidditch. We can hardly, hardly sit, sit still. still. Look who showed up on our doorstep, Jules. Reckon we ought to be good hosts and make you feel welcome. But since when do we do what we ought to? Drop all his pass. The shot. Yeah, way to break that tie. the match. Perfect timing too. I think the gnomes are back again. This has been Ginny Weasley, your source for the latest Quidditch news. Farewell. You're a natural. I honestly didn't think we'd win the very first match, but it was well earned. Shall we challenge them to a rematch? Or are you ready to learn more about Quidditch? All right, the lesson continues. The Keeper adds a lot of depth to the game. So let's add one now. Oh, and I think my brother Ron will be the best person to fly you through this role. Have fun. Quidditch would be rubbish without the keeper guarding the goals. A good defence can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chases as well. It may sound like a lot of responsibility, but nothing beats the feeling of single-handedly saving a goal.
Spacers can play a decent defense, but to properly guard the goals requires a keeper. Keepers have their own way of moving, more like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try. Diving is an important skill for a keep to learn. It lets you move quickly and accurately between the goal rings. As a keeper, it's important to know where the quaffle is at all times. Don't forget to keep focus on it when you need to. The keeper's job is simple in theory. Stop the other team from scoring goals. It's trickier in practice. Chasers will try and trick you, so keep a close eye on them and be ready to move. Your team depends on you thinking on your feet. Um, broomstick, in this case. Oi! Don't doze off back there. You've still got a team to help. From here, you've got the best view of the happenings on the field. Show us your leadership skills and give your team some guidance. Now, let's watch the effect that has on your chasers. A keeper's kick is an indispensable tool. You can use it to deflect quaffles and bludgers, or you can even give other players a good whack to drive them away. Let's give it a go. Try and save this next shot on goal by deflecting it with a big kick. That's about what you need to know as a keeper. Are you brilliant? Back for another exhilarating game of Quidditch. We can hardly sit still. This is Ginny Weasley, co-commentator for this match. It's another spectacular day for Quinn. The Quaffle's up! There's the shot! Chaser lines up the shots and... That's the end of the match. Perfect timing too. I think the gnomes are back again. This is Ginny Weasley, signing off. Match. Offense and defense are both crucial on the Quidditch pitch. Now, shall we move? Brilliant. Let's move on to the roles that make Quidditch. I know Fred has been giddy to go over this bit. Or was that George?
Ah, beaters. You either love them or hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to knock players off their brooms. A beater's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team. Or theirs. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? isn't equipped to deal with bludgers. For that, you'll need the beaters back. As a beater, your main focus should be on supporting your teammates by disrupting your opponents. And that all starts with a bludger. Drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters, beaters can, can do, do the same. same. Often the devastating effect. Quidditch is an incredibly physical game. Every hit will knock you off balance. Take too many hits, and you'll be tumbling off your broom. When all else fails, you can just pretend you are the bludger and tackle your opponents. That usually does the trick. well-placed bludger. Don't worry about hurting them. They volunteered for this. Well, they were voluntold to do this, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay, let's knock them off their broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while they're in balance. Maybe we should worry about hurting them. Just a little bit. Spectacular! Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master them. Knock everyone on the field off their broom. Now that you understand what a beater does, are you ready? Then let's play a match. Back for another exhilarating game of Quidditch. We can hardly sit still. This is Ginny Weasley, co-commentator for this match. Hello and welcome to another thrilling game of Quidditch. The truffles up. Case of fumbles. That's a fumble. on 
that's a pass to a teammate. No one's hogging the quaffle on this team. The show's over. <laughs> this was fun, but we have to run. Time is galleons after all. Phew, nothing like dodging blood just to get your adrenaline going. How did you fare? No broken bones or brooms, right? Should we play another match before we bring the snitch in? Then that means we're ready to learn the last piece of the Quidditch puzzle. The Seekers and the Golden Snitch.